so in this video and upcoming future videos we are going to see how we can work with kpi tiles or analytic tiles so we are going to see how to create the kpi drill down report how to create the kpi tiles and how to add the drill down report to the kpi tiles and then uh, finally we will be adding our fury kpi tile to fury launchpad using pages and spaces concept so as a prerequisite to work with kpi or key performance indicator tiles there is a specific role which is needed so this is the role which we need to activate the tile which we are going to use for creating the analytical or kpi tiles now there are some of the transaction which we also need uh, very first one is to create a semantic object this transaction is needed and then adding a role to the user to to give the access to the kpi tile this pfcg is needed and then the third one is not a mandatory but it is good to have if we need anything so these are the prerequisite and uh, these kpi tiles are uh, stand this kpi stands for key performance indicator and uh, these tiles are introduced to present a quick and easy access to numbers or information about the business so you can see there are different kind of tiles which can be created these tiles can also have a drill down report when you click on any of the tile which you have created you can also show a detailed information or detailed report now these tiles are organized onto the fury launchpad and uh, we will be using spaces and pages concept to attach this tile to the fury launchpad these kpi tiles are of different kinds they can be numerical tile which is the first one then the comparison tile which is this one we have three different values comparison here and then the trending tile which show the trends upper and lower values between the two values and then another one is comparison tile with multiple measures so this one and we can also have a dual tile so this dual tile is it is having a comparison as well as the numeric tile in the one big tile here so these are the different kind of tiles which we can create and hopefully we will be seeing most of these tiles how to create them in upcoming future videos so let's start very first thing how to create the drill down report for the kpi tile so to create a drill down report the very first thing which we need is a gateway service which will be responsible to return the data which uh, we want to show on our drill down report so this is what a very simple cds view which i have created and uh, we are again using our s flight table for getting the details or the data so this is an interface view and it is uh, getting some of the fields from the table and uh, i have also added number of flights so this is a new field which would be available in the output and uh, the reason what why i have created this field or i have added this field is i want to show the total number of flights which are available onto the kpi tile so that number would be total number of flights available okay so for that i have added this for as a counter here now i have created a consumption view as well where we are uh, using this interface view so this is how the consumption view is very simple we are selecting from our interface view and uh, we have called all of the fields available here and uh, we are doing an aggregation here default aggregation as sum on the number of flights field which we have added in our interface view here so i have already published this cds view 
as a O data service using this annotation. Now let's see how this service looks like. So this is how I have maintained it here. And uh, let's run this once. Allow and entity set. We already have one here. And execute. So this is how the output looks like for all of the flights available in the system. Now we will be using this service or this CDS view to get the details on our drill down report. So now let's start our Fury Launchpad. So before starting the Fury Launchpad, let's see how the output looks like in from the CDS view. So right click right click open with and data preview so this is how the output looks like we have total eight rows means total eight number of flights on different dates and on the different places and this is our uh, new fields which has been added here so now let's open our fury launchpad and start creating the drill down report for kpi tile so now we are in our fury launchpad and uh, this is how it looks like we have got the analytics tab here which shows the kpi design and uh, to get this tile we have already seen a prerequisite role which is needed so as soon as you add that role to the user this kpi design or this analytics group would be available to you now to create the report let's click on this tile okay so our tile is open and uh, manage kpi and reports this is the application which uh, gets open here when you click on the tile now very first thing which we need to do is we need to create a new group so group is nothing but it will collect all of your kpi tiles at one location so when you click on that you will get your all the tiles available or all of your kpis available so a group is a collection of different kpis so if you see here number of kpis so this group has two kpi this group have one kpi so you can group all of your different kind of kpis into different groups we will be creating a new group here and we will collect all of our kpis into that specific group so to create a group you need to click on this create button click on this and it will ask you a title i will give fury kpi you can enter all of these details since these are all optional i'm not going to add those things okay so now you have this button save and activate at the bottom you click on that and you can also add into a transport request but i'm going to add this onto a local object click on ok now my group is activated so this is the group which got activated but i do not have any kpi currently so to create the kpi you see a add button here on the bottom right you need to click on add and now here we will be adding our kpi details flight details and uh, now we need to provide the source name from where the data would be coming so to give the source name we need to go to section data source details and click on this define button now here you have two different options one is select cds view or if you have the o data service url you can directly use this option as well now we have the cds view name available so i will be using that so my cds view name was 
zc underscore let's search it yeah we got our view name here which is consumption view and which is for zi flights so select this and as soon as you select this these details will be auto populated here so cds view o data service and your entity set if you have multiple entity set all of those will be available here in the drop down since we have only one so it is auto populated now click on ok so once this is done we have got this data source details here now the next thing is semantics so what semantics is uh, what how your data should be displayed onto the report so for value measure so in our case we will be showing the total number of flights so this will be our value measure so value will be calculated based on this field on the kpi tile so i will select this option and then uh, the goal type goal type should be maximum and now here based on the goal type we we get the threshold value so what this threshold value does is it shows the kpi numbers on different colors red green or orange color so for example if what is the value will be critical for my business so if the value goes below that number then it will show in the red color the warning would show in the orange color and if it is targeted value then it will show into the green color so now i will i will give if my number of flights is less than less than 4 then it would be in the red color if they are lesser than 7 or 6 then it would be in the orange color and if the number of flights are more than 6 then it would be in the green color so this is how the threshold values can be set here let's save and activate so now our kpi is activated you can see the status here in the green active so our group is created and we have added a kpi inside that group now the third thing is we need to create a report to show the details now to create a report we have this option available create report click on this and select the generic drill down report here as soon as you click that you will see this page where the header and subtitle will already been there now go to the configuration and uh, this configuration tab contains different options available but we are currently interested in creating the chart and table or the report or the drill down view for the tile so to create a report you click on this add button here and you provide a view title i provide flight details and there are two types of view types available a chart and a table so if you select a chart then a chart would be available as well as the table would be available but if you select the table only the table would be available to you the chart cannot be added later on so in this case i am using a chart option here and click on add so our chart is available here but it is not showing the details properly so let's click on this setting button here now you will be seeing this pop-up which has two different options to choose from the very first is a dimensions and a measure so for measure we only have one field so we it will be auto selected but what field you want to show on the dimensions i want to show the airlines and click on ok 
see now we see the different airlines available and the number of flights which they have now this is a horizontal bar chart what if i want a vertical bar here so we have an option here for setting select the column chart see now you got the output in the column chart here so our chart is ready our report is ready now let's activate our report click on the activate button and your report has been activated successfully now to show the preview of report which we have created click on the show preview button see our report is now ready which is showing number of flights for each airlines so these are the airlines we have four different airlines and these are the number of flights available for each of the airlines the kpi number the threshold value which we have set is being shown here so total number of flights we have is eight and we have set the threshold value of six if it is more than six it is showing into the green color if it is less than six but more than four it would be orange and less than four would be in the red color so this is what the threshold value which we are showing here now let's see uh, what was the output from our service so this was our service output we were having one two three four five six seven eight different records and uh, four different airlines so one two three and four so these four airlines have been shown here and the total number of flights are here so this is how we can create a drill down report and uh, in the next video we will be creating a tile for this report and showing the kpi numbers or the these uh, number onto the kpi tile so if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you